Well, Reuben. How about this, mate? We are here at Lucky Bay. You've organised all this. <laughs> We've nicknamed him Magic Mike because he's been able to pull some stuff out that no one else has been able to organise. I tell you, uh... he's a bloody magician. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> so, Reuben, thanks for having a bit of a chat on my channel, mate. So, you got your own channel. Tell us a bit about yourself. So, uh, if you don't know who I am already, I'm uh, Reuben from DMW. We do... Uh, you know, vehicle conversions into dual cab utes, so Y62s, 300s, uh, 200s, and uh, all that alike. And we are a big GVM. Uh, we, we play hard in the GVM space, I would say. Um, yeah, and uh, that's Mike and I have been mates for a fair while now, haven't we? We have. And uh, met at the Brisbane 4x4 show. Yep. And uh, we've been, I didn't realise he lived just around the corner from the yeah. workshop. <laughs> that's it, mate. <laughs> Catch up for coffee and. Yep. When Mike said he was going to the west and, uh, you know, we could actually do this trip together, yep. it was absolutely phenomenal, mate. So cheers to that. Yeah. No, it's great to, be oh. able to you know, do this together. Yeah. And we've both got our families here and oh. bits and, you know, I've got so bits good. and pieces coming and going. And <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, tell me, what do you think so far of the west? Oh, uh, look, I'm, I'm disappointed I haven't been to the west before, yep. Yep. Mike, because this is living over here. Yep. like. No wonder people say West is best, yep, and yep. I, I tend to agree, and I've only been here a couple of weeks, like, yep. absolutely sensational. The beaches, the views, the the weather, I mean, today's a bit windy. Yeah. We've, we've hit a, <laughs> we've had two good weeks of just, well, you've had more. You've yeah, probably yeah. had, what, oh, four weeks? Yeah, yeah. Four weeks of phenomenal weather. Yeah, not a yeah. hardly cloud in the sky. We've got one, one day of rain, which was out of the blue, which yeah. wasn't even on the radar. <laughs> yeah. But, so, you know, Sometimes they say wetter is better, so we uh, we might uh, we might get a bit of rain, but it's not going to uh, dampen our spirits, is oh, it? Oh, definitely not. And I think tomorrow is going to be uh, back to being phenomenal weather again. Oh. They reckon, yeah. So we can. Uh... But look at us go, mate. We've got the everything's all set up. We've got the vans. We've got the awning. You know the walls. You, you, yeah. Kirk's got his over there. So you've got the um, the Jayco Cross Track. Yep. Um, I've got a little MDC. 13 footer with the fold out bed at the back yep. and uh, we've got a hardcore camper with a rooftop tent on it I mean we've got all different types of things oh. we've got Hannah in a little rooftop yeah, tent yeah yeah we've Buster got people Lime. in swags yep you know Buster Limes along with the ride yeah and uh, I've got the Ineos <laughs> you've got a you wouldn't believe it I've got the Prado finally <laughs> I got, got it going again <laughs> I mean that's, it hasn't that, missed a beat hey? that was a mean feat oh. for you to get it on the road and then you hit the kangaroo yeah. <laughs> but it has you. not dampened your spirits and I no. tell you that that no. shows character and Mike has just gone you know what this is just all part of it yeah, yeah. You, you fixed it in a jiffy though like yeah, that is, yeah 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 oh, was a term, magic mate. Mike again <laughs> <laughs> well mate at one point I think it was just out of uh, well when we got to Petersburg um, and I had my other son Lockie with us with me at that time and yeah I it, it was nearly going to be a turnaround like I went is this, am I defeated? And um, I got up the next morning and I went, she's just a couple of dents and an airbag that's gone off. I mean, who cares? <laughs> and it, was still running. it was still oh, running. It was in, wasn't in lip mode, nothing. It just kept kept purring along. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like like you were saying, I just sourced some parts, got it together and uh, kind of had a chat to the insurance company and kind of told them how it was <laughs> <laughs> and what I was going to do. <laughs> and uh, here we are, mate, Lucky Bay. So, Absolutely phenomenal, yeah. and I mean, I think Mike should do another video on how he handled the insurance because that's a really good story, and uh, some people might go to pieces and and uh, actually take the word of the insurance companies, mm -hmm. and uh, you need to be quite forceful and say, hey, yeah. you know, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, 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 because um, I pretty much had I, I made sure I had everything organised in place. I sourced the parts. I got someone to do it. Um, so those guys, I'll, I'll let you know who those guys were. So um, Balladure Auto Electrics, they were abs absolutely amazing. I rang them from Fowler's Bay. I had a few, few phone calls. Some of it was in and out of service. And they wanted to talk to me. They said, yep, 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 let's get this done. And uh, I just showed up with the parts and bang, it was all done. And, you know, like uh, it, new airbag, the whole, the whole works, mate. And, uh, you know, one of the places I went to, he looked at me and went, you're not driving out of here? And I kind of said, well, mate, I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I, I mean, they didn't, well, I didn't let them talk about a write-off. Like, I didn't, we didn't even get to that conversation. Yeah. Because, you know, most people say, well, you know, you're in that industry. Yeah. Most people say once your airbags go off, that's that's goodbye. 
Mm. And um, I went, yep, no way, I love my Prado too much. And this is what had been through before that. There's no way I was giving it up, I tell you. <laughs> Funny we were talking about that. We were saying when these new Prados come out, I'm saying to Mike, you should get one, you yeah. should get one. And then Mike going, but then I've got to change the name of my yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. So it might be a few more years of yeah, the 150. That, that's right, mate. It won't be 150 anymore. <laughs> no, she's got a bit left in her. Yeah. 271,000. She's clicked over since we've been oh, on the road. She's got another so. 271. Oh, mate. Well, we've done 6,000 Ks yeah. already. Like, and the Jayco cross track. It's, um, I can't believe it. Like, people bag out Jayco. And, 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 yeah, some of their stuff, I mean, their attention to detail, I will be honest there, sometimes. But oh, everything's been absolutely perfect. Mm. The towing, everything. Like, even you said, hey. Oh, look. You know, I'm a bit envious of uh, how your van tows. Yeah. The MDC isn't towing quite as well as I would like it to be. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't know why. I put more weight up the front, uh, different things. So it likes to wag its tail a bit. But it's such a shame because the MDC's got everything in it, you know, the same as um, what your cross track has. Yeah. Then it's a little bit more compact. Yep. So, I don't know. I mean, the hardcore camper, we've had issue with that with the suspension, which yeah. is not anything to do with the, the no, camper. No. I mean, we've hit a, we've hit a couple of bumps. We did, because it was a fatality at Norseman, like just out of Norseman, and we couldn't actually go to Perth that way, so they redirected us. And uh, I found this dirt road, so 350 k's of dirt, and um, it was a pretty good nick road. There was a few few um, bumps and lumps in it, and I reckon that's where it probably knocked the trailer out. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. what actually happened there, mate? You had the, the wheel on it go out. The... Yeah, and it started to tow, like the left wheel was towing in, so it was trying to steer the trailer up the hill. Yep. And then I've spotted it at camp and gone, holy moly, that's just eating the whole side the of the tyre off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nothing. we had to give her a quick wheel on it in, uh, in the Woolies. Woolies car park. park. <laughs> Where was that? That was Albany, wasn't Albany, it? Albany, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And the shops were closed then, so we had the whole car park pretty much. Yeah. But it just goes to show, mate, you, you got under there, pulled out all your tools out, mate, and you had that thing rock yeah. and rolling. Like, yeah. yeah, in the jiffy, it doesn't take yeah. long. Yeah. I mean, um, tune into the DMW channel for that one yeah. to see how to do that. And uh, Mike even might show you one day on the cross track how to do on these, because uh, I think it's oh, a pretty handy... Same, it? Similar? Yeah, yeah. yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty handy tip to know. Yep. And, um, I mean, what's the highlight for you been so far? Mate, you, you know, every time we get somewhere, we go, we want to stay here longer, don't we? Like, every <laughs> single place. We're, like, just going, oh, my goodness, and then the next one. And that's even better still, isn't oh, it? All the way along. It, it's been absolutely phenomenal. Like, that's why I go back to West is best. Yeah. I don't think uh, anyone's going to change my mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, look, um, you know, like, not to put tickets on myself, but, yeah, like, every... You know, with some of the first stuff that we, well, we fluked, I mean, you know, we're trying to find accommodation that night, the other oh, night. tickets, that's what I'm saying, magic <laughs> mine. He just and we found pulling. that one, didn't we? We're going back to it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know. yep. And uh, even Augusta, that yeah. one that you found there was yep. amazing. Yeah. Uh, the one uh, was about 25 k's uh, west of Albany, isn't it? Yep, yep. And that, that's, that is a keeper, that one. Yeah. What was yep. it called? Um there's so Kennedy, many of them. Ke Kennedy. Kennedy, that's right. Kennedy Camp. Uh, yeah, campground. campground. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. And he was. Um, I mean, these people. They're just so hospitable. They're happy to see us. I mean, he wanted to give us all that information mm. about all the full drive tracks around that weren't even on the map. Yeah. And he wanted to come wheeling with us. <laughs> Absolutely. So a bit of a uh, Mike hasn't touched on this yet, guys. But a bit of a uh, story of why we're all the way up in Lucky Bay is uh, that it's very hard to get into and Mike yep. booked this campsite such a long time ago and we thought, oh, we'll have plenty of time, you know, we'll do, you know, 100Ks and then check something out and camp the night and then do another 100Ks and work our way over here, but we've just been sidetracked, haven't we? I know, I think you you weren't quite, like, you were, um, it's been much better than you ever thought. Oh, 100%. Because you, you're like, no, we need to stay here and we need to do this. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, well, no, we got to go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, like, I'm going, oh, yeah, okay, we've got plenty of time. But yeah. the 22nd just came up on us yeah, so yeah. fast. And so, you've had a great time. I mean, you you went in Mandurah, you went on that uh, bit yeah. of boat cruise. That was absolutely awesome for you absolutely. guys. Absolutely. So we caught up with a couple of our dealers. So we've got GVM dealers around Australia. So we've got... Um, Malaga suspension and they're the guys that took us out on uh, their boat and took us mm. around Mandra and everything mm. like that and then um, uh, We've got 4x4 DNA, so we came over for their their open day as well So it's all worked in yeah. really really well. You missed out on the boat though. I know I know it wasn't I probably wasn't quite sure exactly what you guys are doing and I went Oh, we got to get we got to get going because 
I mean, the, the crew we're with, they had a bit of a time limit, so I suppose I just wanted to show them, get get showing them. And yeah. um, But it all worked out. We met up at Market River. Yeah. You guys had a great time. Um, we we had we had a great time. Yeah, you we guys saw got to go, and go and swimming, and, and yeah, you yeah, did the jetty. It, that's right. You told us about the jetty, and we called in there on our way down. It's absolutely yep. sensational. Yeah. So we got yeah. You guys did that. We did that. You were just a day behind, mm. and then we yeah met up at Market River, and mm. we liked that place so much. I think we oh we got you did you, two nights there two waiting nights for there, me you really one, yeah mm. yeah that was and a lovely spot too. It, what was that joint called? Yeah. Oh mate, there's so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, You'll have to something. tune into the actual episodes yeah, yeah, yeah. to find we'll, out. We'll give you a, a rundown on every... Well, mm. we are going to give them a rundown on every single campsite we've been to. Mm. So, we had a bit of a mishap. Our cameraman... Oh, well, he, we didn't have a mishap. He, um, his young child fell ill, so he had to fly home back to uh, Brisbane, sort that out, and uh, you've got to take your um, some of your family home, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So I'll you're going to pick him own, up mate. in... Uh, yeah. I'll be left on my well, own. Well, no, you're not. <laughs> no, no, but... You're going to be left with us. <laughs> So we're going to head back nearly to Bustleton, I reckon, and we're going to start doing some of those little hideaway spots. And yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Uh, if you're in the west, apparently Calcutt Hill um, is yeah, the place to go. One. Yeah. You know, yeah. I reckon the Prado had to give that a crack, mate. mate I reckon it'll eat it up, mate. <laughs> oh, well, Down I hope the so. ties and let's get out of here. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So then, um, yeah, we'll get to spend a lot more time in that southwest because. Uh, We've just we've missed quite a bit to get here. We mm. went to all those campsites and uh, Bremer Bay. That's another one. We had to go past that because we had these dates booked. But you can see why because this place we're driving in there fully booked. It said in the, on the signs, and we yeah. go, "Well, we're right. We've already made our booking." <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Magic Mike yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. Well, I heard um, you know other people do YouTube channels and that, and I'd, I've seen a few with this Lucky Bay, and a lot of the comments were, "If you if you want to get in here, you got to." Sometimes you got to book four or five months ahead, mm. and I went, oh well, you know, I'm just going to just throw it. it in there and make up how many people we got because it was all changing every time, and here we are. <laughs> I tell you, it, but it's come together, and that's the best thing. Like we, you sort of got to throw a bit of a loose plan together, and uh, and make it work, don't yeah, you? Because yeah, if right. you if you want to stick to buy the book, I think you'll just go mad. Oh, it, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's why it was just a skeleton, pretty much a you know an area that we wanted to cover mm. and i think by the sounds of it we're going to be here a lot longer than you first thought because well, you love it so much <laughs> absolutely I, I really want to do this um south coast area yeah, yeah. and uh, really explore it and on the way home i'm probably going to head through flinders you might have to get home a bit sooner than me yeah yep yep um but are you keen on doing the bunda the bunda um what's it called the Bunda Cliffs? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. then you can go up to Flinders from there, can't you, pretty much? Like after the Nullarbor? Yeah, yeah, so it's thinking? after the Nullarbor I've got yeah, to head yeah, off anyway. Yeah, because I haven't known, I only touched that on the way over. Yeah. Probably like your same for you. Well, guys. we didn't really get the camp there, and I'm like, no, I really, really, really want to, I want yeah, to Yeah, because there's a lot to explore in there, too. Oh, it's so, just, uh, it's amazing. You need like I need two 12 years months. Off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 12 months, aren't you? That's right. Underdoing yourself. That's right. Yeah, I'll tell you what. But yeah, and so I had to step up, mate, to be your cameraman, did I? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's had to step up for a bit. <laughs> so um, if the, his videos aren't, as, aren't very good, then blame me. <laughs> I'm sure he will. <laughs> no, no, not uh, at all. I mean, yeah. for you edit and film everything, or you film and edit everything do, yourself. Every, yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, exceptionally lazy compared to you. <laughs> I've got a I've got a marketing man with me, and I have uh, a cameraman, yeah. and uh, to capture most things. I'm not that tech savvy. I no, no, but you're um, you're the hands-on. You're doing the stuff. You need someone to be filming you. Yeah. Oh well. You know, doing that, it, that's yeah. how it usually has been. Yeah. But it'd be good to uh, know how to uh, function these types of cameras a bit better and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the likes of the other YouTubers are probably quite savvy with all this sort of jazz. Mm, yeah. And you're self-taught. Like that's just another skill you can add to <laughs> yeah, your resume. It. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I used to do still photos, and then I migrated to the, the you know the, the video, and that was a completely different room, you know, like doing that so um but i love it yeah. you know i just love i love the whole the whole process doing the, the filming to it takes time the editing you got to make yourself sit down for a, a few hours obviously and put yeah. it all together and um mate you never uh, you're never too young to learn i'm always learning uh sometimes i stretch things out too much all that kind of stuff it's all yeah mm. it's all a big, big and, like, and that's where i think you guys in the audience come in and you know you make sure you um, put the comments in and say, hey, I want to see this, or that's a bit long-winded, or whatever else, or blah, 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 because, you know, we all read those, and we go, okay, we can do better, can't yeah, we? And we're yeah. trying to... And we want to do better. Yeah, trying to appease you guys, and, and get you guys 
more interested in what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, there's uh, there's more beer to drink, mate. I know, I know. So, <laughs> I'm running a bit low. Yeah, yeah, I reckon, reckon it's I'm time, like, for a, time for a top up. I think so. Mate, like, well, well, you know, thanks for having a chat. Um, <laughs> it's really good. And uh, it's good to, you know, promote each other and Absolutely. all that kind of stuff. And uh, See, I've got to, I, Before I go, guys, like, I'll just finish this. <laughs> Here we go, what's he gonna say? But, I've got a special treat for Mike here. Mm. Wow. To celebrate, <laughs> oh, yeah, Lucky yeah, Bay. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's to it, celebrate mate. Lucky Bay. So what do you got there? Fireball, mate. <laughs> Cinnamon flavoured whiskey. Okay. I don't know, anyone else out there like it? I exceptionally like it. Anyway. Okay. Well, I'll give it a shot. Mm. We're here for a couple of days, mate. Cheers, Thank mate. You. Whoa. Mmm. Get that round your laughing gear. Tell you what, that guys. Is a good taste. Lucky Bay. Tell you what. He's gonna be. It's gonna turn it on. Sensational. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Prada One Hundred and Fifty and DMW. Out of here. <laughs>